The hinge joints are a lot stronger than ball and socket ones, but they take a lot more effort to make as they are quite more complicated, involving a lot of operations like cutting with a disc, that it's quite tricky. And also, they must keep tight tolerances to work fine. But they are perfect for knees and elbows because they mimic a lot more the real human movement. As you can see, in Sally there are six of them. Okay, time to update you on the Sally armature. So far, I'm really close to finish the armature. It's only missing some parts in the chest, the two forearms and the feet. And it's, that's it. Uh, obviously I have to treat some of the parts that are still, I will be uh, bluing them to look like the original one, that it's black on those parts, you see that it's black it's because uh, they treat it, so I will do the same I'm trying to make everything look as similar as possible to the original it won't be exactly the same because I don't have the information and the, and the picture or, or yeah, the information to make it exactly. I wish I could do the same, but I've done as good as I could with uh, the material that I have. I'm really happy with some of the parts. I think that the hinges are great. Uh, and I've learned a lot doing this process. I had to repeat a lot of parts because some of them at the first time they didn't work uh, as planned uh, but that's part of the process and yeah one of many failures here I tried to use this leftover and the material wasn't enough to reach this side of the joint so that's a scrap piece those are the final parts here the good good joint so that was first try and second try worked but that's what's happening all this time trying once and failing and you have to repeat it it's a lot of time wasted to get just one one part because well in fact i only need two of them so it's one here and one here so i only need two two wood parts for all the puppet but I need those you can see the scale of this thing and it's it's huge it's huge because the original was huge 
And yeah, I'm trying to do the same exact thing as the pictures from the movie that I have. Time flies and well, I've been working in this armature because it's been months. I've been doing much more armatures and one armature that I can show you that I've been doing this last week. It's a cat and it's really tiny and awesome. And uh, here you are. So this is a tiny, 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 tiny cat with a lot, a lot of articulation, tiny joints. And it could be, could be Sally's cat because look at this size. Um, and this thing has joints that look at this in the in its head it will be this size joint focus this is two millimeter joints that compare with those that they are already small super tiny and yeah a lot of precision work in those things that um, I'm getting used to it and it's nice uh, but yeah it's a lot of work so hope you enjoy next update I hope this thing is finished because uh, my my bear it's growing <laughs> 